Referencing the inside width of a pocket using Bloom's Quick Start software is extremely easy. First, manually position the probe's stylus in the center of the pocket so the ruby sits just below the part's Z surface. Now switch to MDI mode and call up Bloom's Quick Start program with G65P9700. When referencing the inside width of a pocket, we only need to specify three variables. S for the size of the object, X, Y, or Z for the axis to be moved, and W for the storage location. In this case, you can see we will reference a pocket of approximately 60 millimeters wide in the Y axis and then store the result to work coordinate number 56. The Y1 variable signifies that we must move the Y axis for this measurement. Now execute the program to reference the pocket's inside width. Check the Work Offset page to verify your results. Keep in mind that you can also modify the program call to measure the center of a pocket in relation to a datum, such as the corner of the workpiece. You can see here that we've already referenced the corner of this workpiece and saved it to G54. To relate the pocket's center point in Y back to the corner datum, we use the same program as before, however, this time activating G54 first and also inserting an A1, telling the program that this time we will be measuring instead of only referencing. We no longer need our W value since we are relating the measurement back to G54. Check the results on the macro variables page. Here we see the center of the pocket is about 47.7 millimeters away from the datum in Y. We can also see the actual width in variable number 106 and the deviation from nominal to actual in variable number 107.